Hi hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to speak Southern because a lot of you recently have noticed that I have a Southern accent. Yeah, I'm from the South in Alabama. Some people like it, some people don't. I try not to make mine too obvious, but it just comes out sometimes. Before I get started, I don't mean to be offensive to anyone that's from the South. I don't mean to be rude. I live in the South, I'm Southern, so I would be making fun of myself. So just sit back, enjoy the video, because it's if, if it's enjoyable, I don't even know. So this could be if you're coming to the South and you want to understand what we're saying, because it can be pretty confusing sometimes. So we'll get started with how to speak Southern like. Okay, y'all. Probably a lot of you have already heard this one, but I'm starting out simple. Some people that aren't from the South also say this. It means you all put into one word. A sentence could be like, y'all better be quiet. Fixin' to. This is a pretty common one. It means going to. An example would be like, I'm fixin' to go to the store instead of I'm going to go to the store. Changer or clicker means remote. I used to say changer all the time, but now I say remote. Bless your heart. This is one of my favorites. Usually older people say this one too. If someone gets hurt or something bad happens to you, they'll be like, oh, bless your heart. Like, oh, you cut your leg? Bless your heart. Oh, your fish died? Bless your heart. Coke. Not cocaine. Uh, can I say that on the internet? <laughs> Not just regular coke, but it means every fizzy drink that you could possibly imagine is coke. If you say, I want some coke, it could be anything from Dr. Pepper to Mountain Dew. Some people will go as far as to saying the color of the coke. If you see a grape of coke over there, they'll be like, oh, I want some of that purple coke. If you see a sun kissed over there, they'll be like, I want the orange coke. Ain't. A lot of people that aren't Southern also say this, but it just means am not. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna go over there. Sometimes, especially in the South, there will be a double negative with ain't. It will be like, I ain't never gonna do that. Which actually means I am going to do that, but they mean I'm never going to do that, even though they use a double negative. I feel like I'm giving y'all a lesson or something. You guys don't use double negatives. Like, how don't see as them? This is more of a phrase people will say in the South. Usually on Thanksgiving, they'll be like, I'm about to pop. Which means, I ate too much. I feel like my stomach's about to pop open. Which kind of sounds really gross, but people say it all the time. Mmm, yum. You hear? Do you hear me? If you want someone to come back to your house or come back to where you are, be like, Y'all come back now, you hear? Now these are some very interesting, shall I say, sayings that Southern people will say. If you've ever watched Hannah Montana, the dad always says weird sayings like this, uh, but it, it happens actually. It's not just on Hannah Montana. He couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. That means he can't carry a tune, he can't sing, he can't sing well. Make everything very literal. He's about as useful as a pogo stick in quicksand. Means he's not useful because if you're in quicksand, pogo stick's not gonna help you. I'm about as happy as a tick on a dog. Pretty self-explanatory, you're happy. Like a tick is happy when they're on a dog because they're getting food. Yum. And the last one, which is my personal favorite, is I'm about as nervous as the long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Your tail's probably gonna get crushed by the rocking chair. But one of my faves. Ooh, that feels good. Ooh, that feels good. Just thought I could use this week to educate you some, you. I'm not educating myself because I can't even talk. But yeah, that's all for the video. Just thought I could give you guys some insight on what I live around. So yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next week.